Right, this is sole manier, which is a very traditional way to cook fish that you could use with sole, you could use it with cod, you could use it with tilapia, a lot of different ways to prepare any sort of thin fish that you'd be able to pan fry. So what we're gonna do is prepare it to go in the pan. I'm gonna make two pans to dredge it in. One's just gonna start off with a little bit of milk. It could be any flavor milk. And then after it goes in the milk, we're gonna put it in a pan of flour. And again, it could be probably a quarter, I'll give it a half a cup. An easy way to season the fish is to have all the seasoning right in the flour. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half salt and a very good sprinkling of pepper right into the pan. So let's say all your seasoning is done ahead of time. Very easy. Very generous dose of garlic powder. Gets good flavor. I'm going to put the herbs right in here too. This is some dried thyme. And you could use all kinds of other seasonings too if you wanted. You could use parsley, oregano, uh, all kinds of stuff. Maybe two teaspoons. So it's great. And then just mix that around with your hands, your fingers. Smells good. Okay. So we've got fish here, which I've rinsed off. Pat it dry a little bit. And then dip it first in the milk. Your kids will love doing this too, if you don't mind the mess. It's really very easy. I'm gonna dip it in the flour, make sure it's covered. Use your fingers again just to make sure you've got enough flour on there so that it's well coated. I'm going to put it over here on a plate while we finish the others. We'll do probably two. These are not huge pieces, but they're pretty big. Again, this is dole versus sole, but you could also use petrali sole. Tilapia is really good this way. Cod. And then we're going to just pan fry it really gently on the stove. So we're all ready to go. Cook it in a mix of olive oil and butter. Again, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and a little butter. That's great. Okay. So you want to make sure the pan is already heated so when the fish hits the pan, it starts to cook right away. And the olive oil and the butter will mix together and make a really nice flavor on the fish as well. This will take about five minutes to cook, so if you want to put on your rice ahead of time and your veggies, do that so that when the fish is done, you're ready to eat. Okay, got one fish in there. They will shrink a little bit, so they can be somewhat close together. Try not to crowd them too much. We are going to want to turn these at one point too, so you're going to have room to turn. There we go. Oh, those good spices on the And this fish won't take very long, maybe two minutes, three minutes aside. A lot of it depends on the thickness of your fish. Um, this little guy in the corner probably takes two minutes aside. The big guy in the middle might be three minutes aside. So you want to kind of be ready to flip them at different times. You'll start to see them cooking around the edge. They'll start to get opaque and kind of yellowy golden. While the middle that's not cooked yet is still pink or very white and translucent. All right, I think this little guy is cooking pretty quickly. Oh yeah. And some nice color on, this, on the bottom. That one's almost ready. Not quite. You do wanna have enough butter and olive oil in the pan so they don't stick too badly. Um, if it breaks apart, don't worry about it. It still tastes delicious. Yeah, Let's try. you can always try two at once. That's another way to flip them. It's getting a little dry. Oh my God, oh yeah. Great. A little bit more olive oil. Right, 
I'm going to take this little guy off. He's really done. If the cook needs a snack, you can always take the first one that comes off. Oh, the best parts, all crusty and delicious. So your sole is finished, sole menier. Add a little bit of, I'd maybe let other people, let your guests put on their own lemon. In the meantime, that's all finished.